What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be working on the white stinger and what we're going to be putting on today is something I've never played around with. So let's see if we can get it done. So what we're doing today is we're putting on carbon fiber steering wheel from SoCal Garage Works. So I got to go ahead and turn off uh, the car. Well, of course, turn off the car, have the car off, but disconnecting the battery and uh, the negative battery terminal. And I'm going to have that off for about 10 minutes before I actually start messing with the car. Uh, but you can see I took out all the stuff from her trunk, spare tire. She actually still has a spare tire even though she's on bags. So it's pretty cool. And that's shout out to Air Ride Equipment for that. Now, let's uh, see what we can do here in the front. I've watched a couple of videos, but I really haven't seen anything that goes into detail on how to do it. I'm going to try to explain how to do it. If uh, you know it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, then don't watch this video. First, I'm gonna get this car out of the way. That's done. Let's work on this one. Alright guys, so I didn't record this part just because it was a little pain in the butt uh, to do it by yourself and record at the same time. Uh, but it, what you got to do is that on both sides of the steering wheel, you got little holes where on the airbag meets these lines, right? The, this bar. So essentially what you're doing is you got to push in on the bar and it releases the airbag from both sides. And then you got one on the bottom also that you got to release. And after that, you pop off these clips. You pop off this ground. And it's free. Now we don't have to worry about the airbag. The next step is you have your harness. That's right here. So you gotta pop that guy out. So pop the harness out. So this right here is a 21. So we want to go ahead and get uh, the socket. You know, I use the the uh, torque wrench for this and started taking it out. So let's finish taking this off here. So. So finish taking this off real quick. And what you want to do is kind of wiggle it a little bit and push it back in. So that way, you know, it's not going to be too hard to take off. So there we go. And then gently and fish the wires out of there. And steering wheel's free. 
So now, what we got to do, uh, because of the steering wheel that I got, um, got to take off all this stuff, transfer it to the new wheel, and let's get started on that. I'm going to go ahead and start taking off all of those uh, Phillips heads to transfer it over. Uh, so while I take everything off, uh, let, me get, let me just put you guys down, and if there's anything interesting, I'll let you guys know. Pops off a couple of clips. We're good to go there, and then we're gonna keep taking off the rest of the uh, Phillips heads and keep going. struggling a bit with trying to figure out how to take off buttons what I didn't realize is that first you need to actually take off the paddles so it's literally you're gonna have to pull them off or yeah just give it a little elbow grease and they'll come off and they're not gonna break and then they have a little plug that you remove on both sides just put you know again just push a little bit and then this thing will come loose and we'll unplug the wiring for both sides and this entire thing should come off it's got a couple more screws back here and we should be good to go to assemble the new one so after I popped it off you know that I took off the plugs here you see I took off the screw that was there I'm gonna take this guy off real quick and that should complete it we should be able to take off the button from there. let's try it out flip this guy around and it should give way let me try it out all right so I took one off what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it and just wiggle it forward. And there you go. Now, this steering wheel is ready to go back. Now let's reassemble the new one. All right, so, got the buttons on there, push them in, put the two screws. Now we're gonna work our way backwards from how we took everything off gonna put on this back plast uh, plastic and go that way. should only go one way in as well. So, slide the guy in. There it is. Go ahead and do the other side. And I'm trying not to let the steering wheel touch the ground or the, the dirty uh, area there. You see, we'll go ahead and slide this guy in too. There it is. 
Paddles are back on. Now, you put this guy back on as well. So, I'm actually gonna put a microfiber towel. So that should do it there. That way we don't hurt the steering wheel. And we're gonna put this guy on here. these guys back together this is what we're looking at so far you can see everything's coming back together you flip it over Looking good so far. So let's continue to put this thing back together. Flip this around. Secure the buttons as well. Put it all back together. Forget the ones that go on the side for the paddle, it looks like. Make sure you align it right. Don't drop the stuff like I am. But on this side we got for the other paddle. 
I'm just dropping everything today. Gosh. All right, so we'll move it over like this. That way we can actually put it in there. Okay. Those are good. this way Thought that was for me, but it's not. Don't I wish. <laughs> Cool. So, we're almost there. Got one more piece to go. And we should be good. Making sure that all of the screws and things that need to go wherever they need to go are there. So I'm going to do a quick uh, look-see here. Make sure it's all squared away. And go from there. All right. So we have a completed wheel. Now flip it over. And Let's go put this back on the car now. So I've already started to put it on. Haven't tightened it all the way yet. But that 21, we're gonna put it back in. Let me put you guys up so you can kind of see what's going on here. So you're not gonna see the 21, of course, as I'm just going in on it. But let's put this on. looking pretty badass already so now next thing to do is connect this harness so clicks in and you're there you're good there and these two are going to go to the airbag so let's put the airbag back on right now all right so you got your airbag and repeat the process. So we have pink here and then they only go one way because you'll see that 
the air back here has little indent there or little it's directional that's what i'm trying to say right so it's only one way so click it in click it in make sure that they lock all right and then you got your ground and battery still disconnected you know there's no battery connected right now and then move this around so it's right side up and pop it into place and ladies and gentlemen we have ourselves a carbon fiber steering wheel on Kia Stinger super dope if you guys want one SoCal Garage Works you can customize it make it your own now I'm gonna connect the battery make sure everything is good make sure everything works which it should everything's clicky steering wheel ain't going nowhere let's put it all back together all right connected the battery uh, moment of truth let's see what let's see what happens all right so let's see horn works let's turn on the car hopefully we don't get an airbag to our face no airbag to the face no lights working let's see here on the radio guys like what you see like i said i'm bringing some videos different cars and try to just make it an all-around car channel so hit that like button subscribe let me know what you guys think and then i'll see you guys in the next one peace